Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm running Manjaro on my Raspberry Pi 3 and this is just a quick look. This is an Arch-based Linux distribution for the Raspberry Pi. They also have a version for x86. It runs very well. Now this is just a quick look because it's really hard to do a review on an operating system. Everybody uses it a different way. If you want to use it for email, for web browsing, you can install this and use it directly like it sits. Works perfect for that. If you want to do some other stuff, you're going to need to do a little bit of work. Raspbian and Jesse does have more stuff pre-installed. Obviously, it's made by the people who make the Raspberry Pi itself, so they know what they're doing. Manjaro is a very good option if you just want to change it up a little bit. Very easy to use. Very minimalistic look. So I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to type in install. So it doesn't come pre-installed with a bunch of useful apps right now. But you can always get them from their little repository set up here. Kodi doesn't work right now within Manjaro. Don't know why. I've tried it. I've tried all kinds of fixes, but I cannot get it to run. If you know how, let me know in the comments. So... From here, I'm just going to type in Kodi. As you can see, it doesn't come pre-installed, but you can install it from here. There are tons of other things. So I'll go to GPIO, and I actually had to install this. Python Raspberry Pi GPIO. So we can access the GPIO from the Raspberry Pi here. I also installed Chromium, which is, in my opinion, the best browser for the Raspberry Pi right now. It does come pre-installed with Firefox. has Thunderbird Mail. And you can make this look amazing. I, are, I love the way it looks straight out of the box. It looks just like this, minus the desktop background. But if we go into appearance, I want to say it was appearance. Let's go to settings, appearance. Instead of the dark theme, I really like the dark though. Change your icons up, your fonts. We got settings. Now this is just basically how the operating system looks. So we'll go to Chromium. And YouTube runs like crap on the Raspberry Pi, as a lot of you may know. Um, I mean, it runs like butt, so you got to deal with that. So now that it's loaded up, we'll just try to run one of my videos here. This is a 1080p 60fps video, but it's not going to run very well. Skip. And I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. And... It's not because it's not buffered. If I let this buffer completely, it's still going to run like crap. This thing just doesn't have the juice to run these videos. And it might look decent right now, but as soon as I full screen it, it's going to lag out so bad. And I have not had good luck with YouTube playback within any operating system on the Raspberry Pi. Minus like Kodi or OpenElect, it does run a little better in there. So out of the box, Bluetooth isn't working. You need to install it from the repository that I just showed you. It's kind of like their app store. Um, it's very minimalistic, but everything you need is there. Wi-Fi on the Raspberry Pi 3 does work straight out of the box. You will need to expand the SD card when you first install this, but it's very, very easy to do. So if you want to try this out, I'm making a install tutorial next up. And I know this was just really a quick look. It's so hard to show you guys everything that an operating system can do. But I assure you that this thing can pretty much do anything Raspy and Jesse can do. If not better, but it will take some work. You need to set it up. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. If you look down below, I should have that video up very shortly. I will leave a link down below and on screen now. You can click on this, even if you're on mobile. Like always, thanks for watching.